Hey, what's going on everyone and uh, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to go over how to build a, a login and registration activity in Android. As you can see, uh, this is the application. Um, it contains a login screen, which we can use to log in into the app. And uh, also if we uh, don't have a profile created, we can click on the register um, link here and it'll take us to the uh, registration page. And uh, here we can fill out the information and uh, click register. Uh, I'm using this using Firebase. So as you can see, I have uh, Firebase already set up here. And as soon as I uh, click register, the, um, the information gets sent to Firebase. Um, and so the application is going to take us back into the login page. At this point, we can enter the credentials and click login. And this is going to take us into a uh, user profile. And it's going to pull all that information from Firebase. And it's going to display here in the user profile. So that's it. So let's get started. In the first section, in this section, we are going to build the the login screen. Uh, so let's get started. All right, so let's start by creating a new project. I'm going to use a, an empty activity. I'm going to name my project a login app. And I'm going to click finish. I'm going to expand. And the rest folder, I'm going to go into the layout main activity. I'm going to click on the text view, hit delete. Uh, so the next thing that I want to do is to go inside the values folder and then uh, go inside styles. And I'm going to use an activity with, without, uh, no action bar. So I'm going to make sure I choose that and then I go back into main activity. Um, I want to start by changing the background color. So I need to add a um, an XML inside Drawable. So I'm going to click on Drawable, right click, new Drawable resource. And I'm going to name it background and gradient that XML, click OK. And I already have the code for this, so I'm going to paste it here. Going back into activity main. And uh, here I'm going to say drawable, and I'm going to select my gradient. Next, I'm going to go back into design. Okay, and um, here I want to start by adding an image view. And for the image view, um, I don't have it selected yet, so I'm going to place a, a text, a text avatar here. I'm going to select this one, click OK. I want to um, constrain it to the left, to the right, into the top. Uh, next, I want to add uh, a text view. And this is going to be the title of the application. Again, constrain it left, right, and to the top. Uh, next, I want a plain text. right about here, again. And I'm going to add another plain text. Next, I want to add a button. And finally, I want to add two uh, text view right here in the end. 
one here and the other one right about here and uh, that's it for the login page now we need to format it and install it now let me constrain this the same with the button and with the image view all right next uh, we want to uh, create uh, uh, a vector an image for the main logo of the of the application so i'm going to go inside drawable right click new uh, vector asset um, i'm going the name is what shot so i'm going to click click ok and uh, for the color it is a white color Click next and click finish. So I'm going to click on text and I'll go inside the image view. And here it says source compact. We're going to remove this and we are going to add double. And uh, that's it. So let's go ahead and make it just a little bit smaller. And uh, for the text, uh, we need to change the um, the text color for all the text in the page to white. So let's go underneath values and click on colors and add a color here, name equals text color. And let's change it to three Fs. So going back into main activity and uh, clicking on the text view, let's say text color, and then color, text color. And that's going to change it to white. Uh, next, we want to change this to height, wrap content. And for the text size, Let's change it to, let's say, um, 40 SP. Let's do 45 SP. Okay. And let's change the text to song cap. Okay. And um, for margin top, Let's just do ADP. Next, we are going to go into um, the first um, plain text. And here we're going to add a property called background tint. And I'm going to set it to uh, to white and this is going to change the uh, underlying color of the of the edit text and uh, we're going to go back into colors here and uh, we're going to add another property this one we're going to call it um, edit text hint and uh, it's going to be for the hint that is going to show inside the edit text Back into main activity. Text color hint, and uh, let's call this one color edit text hint. And uh, let's delete the text from here. 
and uh, let's add a hint that says um, username and uh, let's do the same thing for the next edit text and um, going to get uh, these three properties here copy them and I'm going to paste them here delete name from here but instead of uh, username this one should be password and um, this one has another property because we need to enter a password so it shouldn't be displaying in plain text so here what it says input type we need to change this one to text password and uh, next we need to change the layout uh, of the of the button so for this i'm going to add another shape so i'm going to right click on drawable new uh, drawable resource file i'm going to call it button underscore shape that xml and i have already the code here so i'm going to paste it and that basically is a a shape of a rectangle going back into main activity and i'm going to click on the button where it says background i'm going to set it to drawable and button shape okay and so we need to change the text here instead of a button i need to say login and change the text color to color text color and um, uh, let's do now the and this text view which is nothing by a link uh, to a registration page i want to change margin, margin top to adp and um, instead of text view i'm going to change the text to register text color and i want to create uh, i'm going to use the edit text hint no that's not uh, clear enough so we need i'm going to create another color just for that link All right, looks a little better. And uh, next, I'm going to increase the text size to 18 speed. And I'm going to do the same thing for the next. All right, so we almost done. The only thing that we need is to um, add a um, an image here to the left of the uh, to, uh, to the left of the edit text and center the hint. So I'm going to go into the first edit text, and I'm going to add a drawable left property. And uh, next, I need to um, add a, a new uh, image here. So I'm going to click, uh, right click on Drawable, New. And I'm going to go inside Vector Asset. Right click on the image. And uh, for the first one, I want to go into, let's say, Social. And I'm going to select this one here. Click OK. Leave a color to um, white. Click next and finish. And uh, for the next uh, edit text, I want to add a, another image. So right click, back to image. And for this one, I want to add a lock. Here we go. So it is this one here. Click OK. So in here where it says drawable left, I'm going to say um, drawable the person and I want to change 
the alignment to center. And I want to do the same thing for the next edit text. But here, instead of IC person, let's do IC lock and same change alignment. center all right so that's it for the building of the uh, of the layout let's go into main activity let's create the functionality for the login page All right, guys, and that's it. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, remember to subscribe and uh, leave any comment and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.